Assalamu alaikum viewers welcome to my channel genome wide study if you are new on my channel please subscribe and press the bell icon so you will get the notification of all the new videos when we do the genome wide analysis we need to construct the phylogenetic tree to check the relationship of our protein family gene with other characterized gene from different species on the basis of this phylogenetic relationship we can predict the most putative gene within the studied family there are two ways to get the characterized genes one is as i have already told in one of my previous study that you need to read the published papers or articles related to that family and it has or mentioned the genes that show their different functions and they have characterized you can get that from these papers and other way is that we can get the protein or nucleotide sequence of that characterized or best matching genes from ncbi so how to do this let's start you need to open the google or any search engine write ncbi in search bar and then you will find that national center for biotechnology information open it and then go to here this is the task bar and here you can select protein and here you write the name of your protein or gene that i am working on heat shock protein 70 and then enter so here it gives the heat shock protein present in different organism and here are the list of that top organism and these are the number of that heat shock protein present in that different organism these are mostly the viruses or some other organism but we are working on plants so we need the heat shock proteins in plants so here i add one letter plant and then enter so here it shows the heat shock proteins present in the different organism like here is the solanum lycoporcicum arabidopsis thaliana and nicotiana tobacco cocomus taiva and different gossypium hirsutum like this and here also give the list of different plants or organisms that contains that heat shock protein this is the number of heat shock protein present in each organism but this is not necessary that here it shows helen thus anas shows 1281 heat shock 70 protein but it is not necessary that all these 1281 are the complete heat shock proteins there may be some partial genes or maybe some other so you need to when you download it so you need to screen out first we if i want to study the heat shock protein in glycin max so you simply here you need to click on glycin max and it will show all that sorry here you can click on it glycine max sorry so it will show you all that heat shock protein present in the glycine max glycine max so you can download all these protein and then screen it out and then you will get the number of your putative heat shock proteins in this way you can download all that uh, all sequences or uh, protein sequences or uh, cds sequences from uh, one species like here you can go here send to and here file and select here that foster and create also if you need a uh, cds sequence of these all genes so here foster cds and create so in this way you can download the 
uh, heat shock 7014 from one organism but this video is about that how you can download the characterized gene from different uh, species so we go back on our previous page that have that these uh, heat shock protein in different species it, these are about uh, 14,713 in different species but we need the 100 or I take 50 top most heat shock protein in different organism so here go to down and here is the 20 per page so I select it 50 per page when we select it so it is refresh and give me the 50 top heat shock proteins if you want to know the details of all these proteins so you can simply go to or open any protein and then here you can see the details of these proteins that here this protein was published in this paper central role of 70 kd heat shock protein in adaptation of plants to drought it this was published in this uh, article and this is volume and issue and page number and this is a year and these are the authors of these papers this uh, protein was also mentioned in uh, this paper investigating ap apoptosol as a chemical probe for hsp 70 inhibition this was published in plus one these are the author of these papers and this one also this is a protein from Arabidopsis these are the detail of these papers so you can check the details of these or protein so and other thing now you want to need the sequences of these proteins so simply go to send to file and then here we want to select the FASTA and for phylogenetic tree we need only protein sequence so here we only need that protein sequence meanwhile we can we will check the sequences of that our uh, heat shock protein with that we have downloaded from our one species that is uh, glycine max so these are the sequences these are the cds sequences of our glycine max this is the this is cds sequence of first uh, glycine max this is the that uh, ncbi number and this is a gene id usha protein and uh, this is information of all that these genes meanwhile this is uh, these are the protein sequences this is information of that is the ncbi id this is the description of this protein and this is the organism name so you can download this from one organism pre present in the heat shock protein or any other as you are studied uh, family or uh, in a different organism so from here now you need to screen it out like find the motive and then screen as i have mentioned in our uh, previous uh, videos that uh, genome wide uh, genome wide analysis part one part two part three this i have given the sequence of these videos how you can screen it out and use these sequences for analysis we will check whether our i am very sorry that one thing i want to forget to tell you that uh, you need to select these uh, proteins of your interest so here this is not my and then you can download it then it is easy to screen it out here and then download it this is not 
this is the eShock Cognet 70 so you can check the difference between Cognet and uh, eShock 70 proteins and then you can download it you can select one by all here is the eShock protein 70 partial so it is partial protein so I am not selecting it this is also partial this is also partial so I am not selecting this I want to I try to select that have the complete sequences or complete protein so from this 50 I have selected the proteins uh, that was 34 uh, which are uh, according to my objective like have the maximum number of amino acids have the same name that is shock protein 70 these are not the partial protein and then I want to here go to the switch here is a different list in which list you were formed so here first off and then create file so it will download very quickly as it is you can see and then you can open it in the notepad and here it gives the accession number and then the protein so here you can also uh, use these sequences in constructing your phylogenetic tree with your own family genes you can also use the name like uh, here is uh, this belongs to the Arabidopsis thaliana so here right at A Arabidopsis T thaliana and HSPH shock 70 dash you can give it one and also you can made or take the one excel sheet in which you can write this description or details like uh, like I have uh, the file so right here that uh, uh, gene name gene name or genism and CBI ID so then it, this is a for record so first you have given the name that was the AT HSP 70-1 organism is a thaliana here you can NCBI ID that uh, this one copy and paste it so in this way you can give the data write the data of all that proteins then after writing these details you can delete this like here I am that solidum lycoparsicum HSP 70-1 so this is the copy and here you can paste it as lycoparsicum and head S L H S P 70-1 this is a, this is for your record then you can delete it and then after that you can use these sequences in constructing the phylogenetic tree so this is the video that how you can uh, get the characterize or any other sequences of your gene in one click from ncbi hopefully it will help you if you have any question please comment share uh, like and continue with me i will try to sort it out thank you